All right. We're not using observer mode this time because um, there's so many observers. We got Zerg versus Terran right here. Uh, all right. I, I don't see no minerals or nothing. Could, oh, man, it's going to be hard. But <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if Blue goes for the choke. He is going to go for the choke right now. Um, let's see if he does a two rack or a three rack build before gas. I like to do a three rack build. Uh, he's gonna choke up and probably go air more than likely. He's gonna rush for air. Alright, there's three racks. I don't think he's going for a fourth. Yep, correct. That's kind of like, that's my start too. I'm assuming he's at 15 PSI because that's usually where you want to get the gas. And then he's going to pump Marines out, of, Marines out of three racks and an SCV. That way he can just, and then put a, one supply depot after one another to utilize everything in the one. <clears throat> He's going to get his choke up. He does, they don't know what races they are yet. So, oh, by the way, this is Savior versus Duke Nukem. I 1v1. I think I 1v1 Slayer one time. Oh, uh, whatever. I got destroyed, so it doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, he definitely, he's definitely trying to rush for air. He, he's going to build some gas very shortly. Like, this larvae that might right might might right now actually go down as gas if he's trying to rush for air yeah see I'm cor I'm so smart all right he's not gonna be able to break the choke with that or do a run by so that's a rip right there he's gonna have tanks very shortly which is common that should be done at the 3 minute and 45 second mark it's 337 yeah I was two seconds off it's all right yeah, we got done at 343 it's gonna go air yep Correct, correct, Amundo. He's doubling CC, which is smart because you do want to have the economy, the economy advantage over the Zerg. So I don't know, man. This is gonna be. The Terran really does have the advantage because he's. The Zerg is going to be focused so much on air, he's not going to have any support back here. He's going to go right for a vessel and air. And I've mentioned in previous videos that Terran versus Zerg, you need air superiority. So, it's essential that whoever has air wins the game. And that's like 100% accurate, unless you really screw up, so it's like 90%. Because there's some people that just choke the win. Like me. Um, Let's see what he's gonna do.
If he if he predicts that he's going air, he should be able to counter this. You gotta get scourges ASAP. Here comes the spire. He should be making his hive right now, or maybe a little bit. I don't know. He he might want his spire to get close to be done before he pops that um, queen's nest down. All right. He's trying to expand. He's expecting a macro, but this is what I was expecting: drops and vessels. And the vessels, you don't have a vessel coming. That's all right. Well, he's focusing on drops, so it's uh, this could be Jeej. You don't have any units. You don't got no tanks. Yep, GG. He just said GG. It's over. So that was a quick cookie, man. So I'm going to go see if they're going to post the game too.